What's up guys, it is your boy Kyle Little back with another semen retention video. Today is day 94. I'm currently on a 23 hour fast right now. I am about to break it. Um, I'm going to eat the same thing that I eat every single day, a burrito with a avocado. So I'll eat two burritos, right? I'll make two. So two flour tortillas, one whole avocado, right? I'll put some sour cream on there, some uh, salsa and um, chicken, right? And some black beans and that is what I eat every single day. So I'll eat two burritos, right? And that is it. Every single 24 hour period, that's all I eat, okay? So today's video is going to be about the um, tree leaf from Indonesia kratom or also known as, right, Mitra Gina Speciosa, okay? So we're gonna talk about that today in combination with semen retention, okay? I've made a previous video about the, uh, the benefits of Kratom from Reddit users and I've made a, the video about the negative um, effects of Kratom from Reddit users. Um, I've collected um, just experiences from other people and shared them, so those are in my previous videos if you wanna go check those out. Um, today, I really just wanna focus on being on semen retention and also using Kratom, so that is what today's video is going to be about. So first of all, what is Kratom, right, you might ask. So Kratom is an evergreen um, tree uh, in the coffee family, right, that is native to like Southeast Asia. Um, it's been grown and cultivated there since forever, right, and they use it as a, uh, a medicine, right. Some of the farmers will commonly chew on it um, and it gives them a stimulant-like effect. It also has an opioid-like effect um, you experience opioid-like effects, like you um, can, you know, you have an increase of energy, right? You feel better, less pain, right? Kratom's great for pain. Um, I use it to go to the gym, used it to go to the gym. I haven't used Kratom in a very long time, right? Obviously, I'm on a dopamine fast right now, but when I did use it, um, I would use it to go to the gym. Um, I was using Kratom when I hit a 585-pound deadlift, um, in 2017, that was a state record, um, number one, right? Don't know if it's still there, but uh, yeah, so Kratom really just helps you, uh, helps with pain, it has a stimulant-like effect, so it can kind of keep you going. Like I said, it's part of the coffee family. Um, it is native to Malaysia, I believe, Thailand, Indonesia, Myanmar, and I think Papua New Guinea is where it's grown, so mostly uh, tropical places, right? Um, all right, so there is, that is kind of a baseline of what Kratom is. I'm gonna go into a little bit further detail right now, okay? So let's just quickly go over some medical uses for Kratom. Uh, first thing is Kratom is an anti-diarrheal, so you don't um, shit your pants, right? Um, <laughs> First and foremost, obviously, next thing is a painkiller. And then, Kratom is often used by like labor um, in Southeast Asia and all over the world because it's we're global now, right? Um, by the local labor to uh, just get through the work day. Um, that's not exactly medicinal as you would say, right? But um, they do get an increase in energy and euphoria throughout the day and it helps them work harder. They normally, like I said, will chew the leaves but in America, we obviously have powder form and most people will do what I used to do called toss and washing, right? So you'll take the powder kratom, weigh it out on a scale, I'm saying that right now, if you don't weigh your kratom out on a scale, you're, 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 being, you're being reckless, okay? Get a scale if you're gonna take kratom, weigh it out so that you know your doses because overdosing on kratom is very unpleasant. You can't die from overdosing, but it's very unpleasant, okay? That, that, just saying. Get a scale, okay? If you don't have a scale, don't take Kratom. Okay, or buy it from a head shop and buy it so you know the exact weight in capsules, right? Okay. So yeah, most of it um, is used in Southeast Asia for um, just certain certain medical uses, right? So it um, increases sexual desire, so they say. So they say. I think it makes you last longer um, while having sex. So if that's what you're looking for, Kratom will do that. It, 
ties back into the opioid, opioid-like effects because your body becomes more numb to physical sensations, right? All right, let's uh, further dive into Mitra Gina Speciosa. So with that being said, I'm going to uh, talk about the part that the Kratom community usually doesn't like, but there are adverse side effects if you are naive to Kratom or you take too much at one time. So at lower doses, about one to five grams of Kratom, one to five grams. Um, this is a pretty low dose. You're pretty safe in this area. Um, once you start going up towards uh, three, four, or five grams, this is when you start entering um, a bit more of the uh, opioid-like effects um, and maybe getting towards the point where you might be getting overstimulated. Um, once you go past five grams, um, this is kind of when you're getting into the territory where you may be taking too much and you may be experiencing um, traditional opioid um, adverse side effects. So once you enter the moderate dosage area of Kratom, which is I would say about five to 15 grams of Kratom, um, and let me say this now, do not take, I would say over five grams of Kratom if you have never taken it before, okay? Start low, start about two or three grams, maybe even one, feel it out um, and then go from there. Um, 15 grams is an incredibly large dose and it can make you seriously ill if you take that your first time taking Kratom. Um, so yeah, there's your warning, um, start low with Kratom or you may experience, you know, some serious negative side effects, okay? So, some of the side effects when you take over 15, or not over 15, five to 15 grams are going to be tachycardia, which is like your heart rate is gonna go way high, like over 100 beats a minute. Um, you might start getting uh, like kind of palpitations and stuff like that. And then um, you can get dizzy, right? Dizziness can occur. I would call this like, uh, I get like this weird doom feeling if I take too much Kratom where I start feeling really ill and like my whole central nervous system is messed up. Um, you can get anxiety, um, hypotension if you take too much Kratom, um, dry mouth, sweating, um, you know, just, Pretty standard, um, you know, side effects of um, overdosing on an opioid. Just uh, normal stuff, right? Um, constipation can occur from Kratom um, if you take it long term, right? Okay, so there's just a brief introduction to Mitrogena speciosa if you weren't already aware of all those things. Um, so now I'm going to tie it all into the subject. So semen retention and Kratom, obviously, um, when you take any kind of mind-altering substance, you're going to experience some kind of, um, you know, cognitive effect, right? I've just explained all the effects of Kratom to you so you know what to expect when you take it. Um, you know, I don't really see a problem with uh, taking, like, low amounts of Kratom uh, while in semen retention or just in general. But if you have an addictive personality, I would um, definitely stray away from really any kind of mind-altering substance. If you already know, you have an addictive personality. Um, Kratom is opioid-like, so it does have addictive qualities. Um, you can become addicted to it. Like I said, I have before, okay? Um, so just be cautious, okay? It's something that can, uh, it can, it can cause withdrawal. You can, it can cause withdrawal. Withdrawal is uh, pretty bad. If you wanna know about Kratom withdrawals, just go to the subreddit, R quitting Kratom. Okay, and that will tell you everything you need to know about what Kratom addiction is like, um, what withdrawal is like. Um, I've also gone into detail with this in my previous videos, um, especially the negative side effects of Kratom uh, video I made. So you can go check that out if you're curious. I'm not going to go into super detail about it because I already have and I don't, like I said, I don't want to make this a video bashing Kratom. So yeah. Um, if you guys have addictive personality, kind of, I would say, say stray away from any kind of mind-altering substances. But Kratom is uh, its pretty mild as far as drugs go, um, if you want to call it that. It is, uh, it's definitely a mind-altering substance, for sure. Um, so just be careful when taking anything, really. But um, I think that I'm going to be leading towards absolute sobriety on this semen retention journey, right? So... Um, with that being said, I mean, you don't have to do that. Like, I've been, um, I use Kratom a ton, man, and, you know, it's, it's not really that big of a deal, I don't think, personally, okay? So, 
that's my opinion. Um, you need to form your own. Go do your research, okay? Go figure out what it's all about. I just gave you some tidbits of information, but really before you take anything, you should figure out all of the things about it, right? You need to do your research. You need to find anecdotal experiences from other users, right, on the internet. Um, do the full search. Go to Earwood.com. Um, Earwood.com is great for uh, chemical substances um, and information pertaining to chem chemical substances. Um, very accurate. Um, go donate to them, by the way. They need donations in order to stay up. They offer an entirely free service. So, yeah, shout out to Earwood.com. E-R-O-W-I-D.com. I will link it in the description below so yeah that is my um, opinion of Kratom and kind of how I feel about it and you know it's entirely up to you I'm not gonna tell you what to do but I just made this video because someone asked me to so there you go if you enjoyed today's video please subscribe to the channel like the video like the video just like the video it's really easy you should be liking the video before it even starts and uh, comment down below some suggestions I'm taking suggestions so if you want to hear me speak about something just let me know okay this is your boy Kyle Little signing off